live in him. I'm the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Apart from me, and now that's a problem with the church where we've lost that contact. Lord told me if I could get the people to believe that nothing would be impossible to them to believe. A woman in uh, Miami was standing behind me and she punched me in the back. And uh, when she recognized she's in Portuguese, I was there and she was in the meeting over there. And she heard about me going to be, actually she was coming down to Trinidad and all across the world, me in the meeting down there. But she had an uneasy feeling about that uh, plan. Getting on. And I was the first one getting on her. And she's behind me. I felt somebody's finger in my back. And I was hearing her praise God. Almost Portuguese Spanish is almost the same. I could understand a little both of it. And she was saying, God. And I heard her saying to the Lord, I turned and looked. She said, plane won't go down now. Man, I got on board. Now that's faith in I ain't had no kind of feeling at all not to get on that plane. And I went. And that was about a 12 or 14 hour flat we had. And about 1,500 or 2,000 miles the pilot announced he's going to have to land over at some place. And I thought, now that's strange. I use no wall in flights that's going to land there. And, and he didn't make no big to do. Take back, he told him what happened. We probably all had nervous breakdowns. <laughs> Got over and pulled up the gate and he told him, said, one of the big old giant motors. Said it's a miracle we got in here. When the motors fell in the plane back there, we never knew it in the water. And he said it was a miracle. First thing I thought of was I felt that thing about plane won't go down there. See that power. We don't realize of what God has connected us to. Amen. He's the vine. Drink some all the spring. Once you're born again and washed in the blood, you eat his flesh, you drink his blood spiritually. That's right. You abide in him. He said, I am the word. I'm the living word. And the, in the beginning was the word. And that's what he said, I, I am the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. That's right. So he said, if you abide in the word, my word abide in you. You can ask what you will. Preachers don't teach that. They don't even believe that anymore. Amen. But it works. I said it works. Well, well then, people did that when somebody come up and told Jesus that, Master, They've run out of wine. Jesus said, fill the water pops up. <laughs> now this wasn't no Christian wedding it was a pagan wedding. Amen. <laughs> they fell and they said, now, just a dipper and start dipping now. So they said, everybody was in line. They started putting their, their glass up there. And somebody did it, filling them uh, uh, in cups or glasses or with that wine. And 
and most of them half drunk before they, they just got half drunk. And they began to say, well, they began to murmur, you know. So they say the best wine and most first, you know, give us uh, uh, the best wine first. Then we get the old bad stuff. They said, they have got us half drunk here. Now they're giving us the best stuff. We should have drunk that first and then drunk the bad stuff. Amen. But what they didn't realize, Jesus turned that water to wine. What made that the best stuff? Anything he does is the best stuff. Hallelujah. You see what I'm talking about? You see why Jesus done it? Now these weren't Christians. So if God will provide the best wine for the old drunks, what would he provide if you abide in me and my word to abide in you and make you a part of him? You're not some old drunk. He said you're flesh of my flesh. Bone of my bone. Blood of my blood. You'll never find that in no other religion. By the being nine you as a branch and not bear fruit of itself, except the divine and divine, the more than you except you abide in me. It's important that every day, during the day, that you strive. One scripture said, strive to enter in the straight game. Amen. Straight is the gate, narrow is the way that leads to life. Because broad is the gate, wide is the way that leads to destruction. And many that be going, but said, don't, don't get in that road. A lot of the people want to be where everybody is. Get over our work. There's not many people on that road. Strive to get on the right way. I am the vine. I'm the true vine. I'm the vine. You the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. That's the reason some of us come up with nothing. You got a, oh, you got a print right method down there. Now subtract method from nothing. <laughs> now tell me what you did. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That's what's happened to the church. They subtracted nothing and the prayer from nothing. And they come up with nothing. And that right? Amen. She word of them. If a man abide in me and bad abide not in me, he is cast forth as the branch of his withered, and men gather them, cast them into the fire, they are burned. I guess that's hell, right? Amen. So, if a man about not in me, that, that shows you right there something wrong with folks. Amen. Oh, sister, uh, uh, Tony, to take these and kind of make sure we have these from back right here for Saturday morning, good morning. Think about that. Right now, look around and see all the uh, preachers and supposed to be working for God there. Boy, just cast away. That's right. Ain't nothing too much happening no more. The sense of being here. I don't know who told me, but somebody was telling me about. Uh, uh, some church, I don't know, that, that somebody's wanting to come and hold a revival in this church, and the pastor said they couldn't let them because the offerings, they're not, they're the offerings so bad to, to, they can't afford but one service. Uh, life bill is so high 
They can't always pay it. They can't get enough money to pay it. Only have one service a week because they can't afford to pay the light bill. <coughs> you see the mess that the church got itself in because it didn't abide in Him? If we get abide in Him, the, uh, the, the church, I don't care if it's this many or this many, they'll get in there and pray. He said they can ask, and God said ask what you will to be given to them. Amen. Amen. Somebody ain't believing. <coughs> when Mark 9 said, Nothing shall be impossible to you. Have faith and doubt not. And nothing shall be impossible to you. All things are possible to a believer. That's right. I mean, somebody's hypocrite. Amen. I think we need to have an examination to see what we are. That's right. Sister believes in her husband. I was praying for her this year and I prayed. She said, you didn't, you didn't get it. I prayed again. She said, you still ain't got to. <laughs> or a third time, I said, Lord, help me get it. And, and that third prayer, man, got right in through the heaven and everything she asked for, God gave it to her. Glory. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. It works. Faith works. You know, and I know people think I'm crazy. I was out there in the, the mountains in the west, and I was preaching just like I'm preaching right now about faith. And there's a mountain, big mountain there. And I told them I preached about that mark, you know, how faith is a grain of mustard. So that's the scripture I used. You shall say to this mountain. Be moved, and it shall move, and nothing shall be impossible to you. And I said, y'all think that's just, I bet you really wasn't talking about a mountain. He was talking about a mountain. He's talking about anything in your life, that, or anything that, 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 that needs to be done in your life. I don't care what it is, he's talking about that. He looked at one of them and said, you know, there's 5,000 plus, all of them had a bunch of kids. And all of them had wives. Some of them had seven, eight wives. So uh, I figured out 5,000 men plus wives. Didn't say wives. Said wives. Some of them people didn't have much as uh, uh, seven of them. <laughs> Man, I just can't support one. Well, go away. Don't want to support two. But anyway, think about that. It was permitted in those days. Because God was populating the world. And a little boy had a small little lunch, you know, the kids, they hear his. But they found out they got his little lunch, and Jesus blessed it, and they fed all that whole thousands, plus women and kids. That's the kind of God we got. These gods of the world can't do that. These, these uh, African gods can't do that. These Murder God sent through that. But the God of Israel. God said, I'm the God of Israel. You know, an Israelite and a Jew, we're Israels. We're, we're Israelites. When you believe in God, you, you become an Israelite. And he said, if you don't do it, then you... Uh, with her and God cast you away. That's the reason some of us are cast away. Right. 
because we're not abiding in the look. If you abide in me, my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done to you. Hear me as my Father glorified. I mean, when you, when you are living in Him, and He's living in you, and you're living by the Word, it honors God. It don't make you no big something. You know, some people, if the prayer get answered, that they act like they answer. Amen. That's what folks man some get a prayer about the prayer. Amen. I mean, and it's a shame how people brag about the prayer. They didn't answer their prayers. It's just a spirit in people. They want to make themselves spiritually. They want to make themselves. It's all about God. Amen. Amen. Well, if God turns this pulpit in the hundred dollar bill. That don't make me nothing. If I ask the good, it makes God something. Amen. See, that's what people mess up that, that they try to make themselves what God done. Right. Are you that God? Then why you ain't bother Him? Amen. I'm sure we need to rest in Him. All of us, buddy. <laughs> don't, you, don't you know He could have to use the rest? Give him the glory. Amen. Say, give God the glory. Amen. Give Jesus the glory. He's the one that made the water wine. He's the one that took a little bit of mud and put some uh, uh, dirt and put some water with it and helped his hands and become a man. Amen. Come look like me. Make him in his own image. Amen. Help Jesus from being a man. God being a man, not. He's not a man. He is a man, but not a man. He's your life. Took a little bit of dirt. Said, be a man. Look like me. And you jumped a man out of God's hand. With eyes, with nose, with feet. Hallelujah. God made man. Lord, oh, help us, help us, Jesus. Oh, fellas. Look at him. See his head, see this. There he sat by his head. Yep, his side. Here in a world by his head. I don't know how long he's been here. Ain't that right? Amen. One day God looked at him and he said, Go poor fellow. Be sure we need some coming. <laughs> he sure do need some coming. And he caught him asleep. Boy, he was sound asleep. Man, he's asleep. He got him at the razor, I guess. And Adam had been shaving with, and he just reached over on his right side and cut him open. No matter what side he got him. Reached over and got that knife, and he cut her real bad. Laid on that table, you know. Thank you, Jesus. And just part of breathed. All of a sudden that rib grew hands, nose, feet. Of course they were naked, you know. And Adam woke up with one side. Hey, man, that he oh my god, you know. <laughs> What's this? God said, that's a woman. 
Hallelujah. Ain't that right? Man, so beautiful. It's such a beautiful, just a beautiful flower, just beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Ain't you glad God said it's not good for man to be alone? <laughs> Ain't you glad? And that's what the Bible said. God, God said, the Bible said, He caused a deep sleep to come over. Took a ring about it inside. It's a old bottle. Yeah. You say, I know that that evidence. I don't care what they don't believe. They gotta be a creator out there. I preach over here in the world of country full of monkeys. They say we come to monkeys, where you uh <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no monkey, and you ain't either. I see the monkeys over there, they got the long tail out. People talk about it, I said, Lord, if we come along, how come these monkeys don't become like us? <laughs> we didn't know what about from the monkey. God didn't even have to get us in there. Yeah, we ain't got no monkey in us. We're not animals, we're people. We're in God's image. That God made the monkeys. That God made all the animals. He made all the things. He saw a man running around here by himself. He said, it's not good for man to be alone. That's what he said. Marriage is honorable. And the bed on the fire, but whores and whoremongers. God will judge. See, we're, we're gods. The Bible said we're gods. We belong to God. We're gods. So I, when Randall was born, I thought, I got me a son. When you, if, if, you, if you had a, a, a child, you said, I got me a son, I got me a daughter. That's the bone of your bone. Well, that's what God looked at when he, when he looked at uh, Adam. He said, I got me a son. Jesus wasn't only the son of God. The Bible said as many as received him, he gives them a special power to become a son of God. We're sons of God, whether he's man or woman. We're sons of God. We're created in his image. That's what he said to you. I'm the vine, you the branch. The branch can do nothing without itself. You cut the branch off, it'll die. You cut the limb off the tree, it'll die. God's a tree, we the limb. And that makes us, the, 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 the limb is wood just like the tree is. We're not just a bunch of uh, uh, nuts running around here. We are God's. We're God's sons. We're God's daughters. We're God's handmaids. We're God's and the preachers won't preach this to the people. That you're somebody. I said you're somebody. You call all the other nobody. Well, you're not used to be a nobody. But now you're a nobody. That has become a somebody. You got born into God. God got born into you. You become part of God. When you accepted Jesus, you become part of God. God is in you. You're in Him. You're not just a washout. You are somebody. Thank God they have, that God has looked up on you uh, as God. The Bible says you are you, 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 you are God. I swear we don't get food. We run home, I need to get over here and get so and so. No, you don't need so and so. You are God's yourself. 
You don't need somebody on the Holy He's a man of God. She's a woman of God. You don't need her. Thank God you you you, you, you what she is. If she's the son of God and he's the son of God, then if men have received him, then you are the son of God. That means that your prayer gets through. That means that you can knock and heal over the door. That means that you can ask and heal him. That means that you can seek and you can hide. You can hide. You don't only have faith in God, you have faith in yourself. You have to believe that you're God. You ain't offerings. I said, you ain't offerings. You abide in me and my word abide in you. You shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Here is my Father Lord. I, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. Not somebody else's disciples. He said, you're my children. You're my sons. You're my daughters. God called you his sons and daughters. You are the somebody. You are the nobody. That's what you used to be before you... Except that Jesus, now you're the nobody that become a somebody. Hallelujah. Your children take somebody in. Now, now you're somebody if you accept Jesus. Now you're somebody. God hears your prayer. Now you're somebody. Now you're somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. God didn't say, if I'm not for you, he'll open. He said, you die. Amen. 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 Some people say, where you live? Nothing for them. Well, you not. God opened that door for you just like you will for me. Just like I asked God, nothing for God. God said, what do you want? Lord, I need some help here. He'll help you just like he'll help me. Whatever you ask when you pray, he said, I'll give that to you. Whatever you ask when you not, he'll give it to you. The Bible said, have faith in God. But God, I say to you, you shall say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. And doubt not in your heart. It shall be obey you and it shall be done unto you. The Bible said, God is not a man that he should lie. Not a son of man that he should repent. Had he said he shall not do it. Or that be spoke up and shall we not make it good? That's really called you gods. You belong somewhere. You know, people you know people worse than me. They say. Amen. All they saying, oh, so and so said so and so. You, you, you hurt yourself more. You talk about your against yourself. Hallelujah. You're the worst enemy right. you got. You talk to yourself out of a big old double cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dad, you could have had a big old double cheeseburger. You wound up with a piece of bread and nothing in it. <laughs> because of young dad. Ain't that right? Your, your tongue messed you up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says the Lord will provide. Yes, he will. Isaac said, Father said, well, we got the fire, we got the wood. But where's the sacrifice? Where's the, the, the little red heifer at? Where's the, 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 the sheep at? Abraham said, Son, the Lord will provide. Amen. Didn't you Even after you had it tied up on that wood, Figure strap that match. 
Oh, let's take that rock, make that fire. A, a ram, a lamb, had his head hung in the bush. Abraham believed God, the Bible said. And it was counted to him for righteousness. When you get in these altars, when you get on your knees, when you kneel beside your bed, He answered your prayer. He granted unto you the need of your life and soul. He heard you when he, you asked Him to save that boy. To provide a way. As the Father loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. All this whole 15th, the 14th, the 14th chapter are here. He told us the works that He do, we would do them. You know, we're, we're just letting the devil in these times and even in the 16, these things I've spoken to you that, that you should not be offended. They should put you out of the synagogue. The time come that whoever killed you would think they do God's service. These things that they do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things I've told you that when the time should come, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not to you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. None of you ask me where I go. So Jesus is telling his disciples, I'm fixing to leave you. And you're going to have to stand on your own. You, you see what he's telling me? But I'm going to be more real to you now than I am with you. Because if I'm not with you all the time, you know, they want him on the boat, they want him here, but after I go to my Father, I'm going to be with you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. No matter who you are, I'll be there with you in spirit. I'll be there with you in power. I'll be there with you because I'm going to give you my spirit. I'm going to see you back what I've got, the Holy Ghost. And when you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to know who I am. I'm not just a body here, but I'm, I am a God made flesh, but I am also God the Spirit. I am God the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to live in you, and you're going to live in me. And you have to run over yonder to Dr. Jones or so and so. Or you can ask me when the enemy comes in like a flood, I will be there in you, lifting the standard up for you. Not, I'm going to open. I'm not going to send somebody else to the door. I'm not got a mate working for me. I'm working for myself. When you knock, I open. I say when I knock, uh, when you knock, I open. I'm not sending the maid. I'm not sending the, uh, some, somebody else to open that door. I'm going to open the party. Yeah. You need Jesus. Amen. Jesus needs you. You got somebody with you. He said, I'll be with you, but I said, I'll be in you also. I'll never leave you. He is everywhere. I said, He is everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. He is everywhere. There's not a day of your life. There's not a breath that you breathe that He didn't put it in. Your blood flows, flows through your veins because He made you alive. Amen. 14 said the works that I do, you will do. No. Not only that, I've got a mark over here where said I give gifts to me. Right. Some to the apostles, some to the prophets, some to the evangelists, some to the teachers. But everybody 
receive gifts. Give gifts for me. God does not leave you without hope. As he don't leave you without hope. Jesus has fixed all things for you. And all you got to do is humble yourself and take up the cross. Here he said, we'll protect you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day. That's what we are in. I've done all this thing. Stand up and hang your loins and gird it about with the truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Above all, take the shield of faith where you may be able to quench or put out all the fire darts or the shots of the devil. All the weekend. See, we, we don't have to run around here having somebody to nurse us all the time. Some of you preachers got a hundred bottles and some of them two hundred bottles and have to come out and let you get on one back there and like a baby. All right, now. You go to church, we're in my bottle. <laughs> well, you don't need that bottle no more. Thank you, Jesus. You're not done grown up to be a man or woman in God. You are a born again soul. Oh, praise God. Man, it's Bible I can't just do. Jesus Christ has made you a God being. Did you know the Bible said it's written that ye are you are God's? We made his image. Made him his likeness. We're not animals. You know, my, well, that bunch of evolution, I like to take them all off over here and dump them in the ocean. <laughs> Would you do that? Man, I could. I'm giving them parachutes if we need to get them out of here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're not going to come up from I preach over yonder with the monkeys all, all the time, and they see our monkeys. I've been going over 40 years, and them monkeys, I told them all, God, if y'all come with monkey, why ain't these monkeys looking like y'all now? <laughs> we know God made the monkeys, but monkeys ain't got souls. God made man. He didn't make monkeys. You didn't come from baboons and all this uh, evolution bunch. Ever saw somebody said, You believe in God? I said, Yes, sir. Well, I'm an evolutionist. I said, Yeah, well, you look like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> the weather ain't monkey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the image of God. You're in the image of God. You know what God looks like. Go home and look in the mirror and you see what God looks like. Hallelujah. He made you in his image and in his likeness. He breathed into you that what was in him, that living soul. You are something that will never die. And if you do physically die, when that resurrection morning you come out of the ground, come out of the ocean, come out of where you are, come out of that little thing on the mantle, you ain't going to be that old uh, decaying body. You're going to be a glorified body. You're going to be known as you're known. I'm not going to walk up to Brother Ross up there and say, well, who are you? We're going to be recognized. Ain't that what you're saying? We're going to be recognized. Thank you, Jesus. Good God. People don't like to say that, but the Bible says you're God. You're gods. You've made it in his life. You ain't animals. You're not monkeys. You're not bugs. You're not snakes. 
You're not chickens. You're God. You're His image. You want to know what God looks like? Look in the mirror. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You know what God looks like? Look in the mirror. You see, you're made in His image. Start acting like it. You are somebody. You can pull out of that mess you're in. You can have a well body. God said, I want you to prosper and be in hell, even as your soul prospers. Oh, you a little faith. I'll tell you this 15th chapter of uh, of uh, here I have seen is the seventh verse. If you're abiding me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will. And this should be done of you. I have seen some of the most doubtful, unbelievable. From this scripture, I mean, total impossible. I seem to turn water into gas because I asked him to. I seem to hear a motor that sung a rod out the side of it, and I stretched my hand, the thing was red hot, shook it hood, and God healed that motor. I kept that truck that year. Sold it to another preacher. 1972, I had my first ministry meeting in Memphis. That preacher attended. And the Lord that year had dealt me. A lot of people owed me from everywhere. Borrowed money from me. And, and because I was blessed and took advantage of me. But a lot of that meeting. And he... he had never paid me. And I walked up to him and I said, Brother, you know that truck that you bought for me and never paid me? He didn't give me time. Oh, I'm going to pay. I said, you shut up. I think what I was bitching about that. I said, uh, uh, the Lord told me to forgive you of that debt. Did you know the Bible told us to forgive people of their debt? I'm not the first I know of that ever done that. I quit doing it. You say, why? Well, I quit long keeping it back. Paul Paul expected me to be. Hallelujah. Glory. And, and uh, the Lord had brought me into this, this, I mean, uh, to a place that it was unbelievable what he was doing. Where he wrote Texas, he actually turned water into wine to have communion. Absolutely turned the water into wine to have communion. I mean, water, just like he did in the Bible. He said, why can't he? He done it in the Bible. Anything he done in the Bible, he's still doing it today. If you would come to it. And I told him, I said, you know, he said, I want to tell you something about that truck. I said, I kept that truck, I believe it said about six or seven years, moving his equipment and tents around. He said, I never changed the oil in that truck. And that oil stayed pure. I never laid a wrench on that motor. And tires, he said. State just like brand new. I was going to tell you something about that truck myself. I said, for I said, I blew a rod down in South Alabama. Come outside of now, the oil gushed out. The radiator boiling over. I raised the hood and I couldn't touch it. I stretched my hands and quoted John 15 and 7. Shut the hood. Step on the starter. Turn the switch. The truck cranked up. 
Check it that year and maybe another. But I know the rest of that year because the minister grew. And I was teaching him to say that too. The Lord had brought me in to, to, to teaching people that he's the vine. We the branch. Fourteen. The works that I do, you shall do them. Matthews, ask and be given to you. Seek and you'll find. Not when they be open. Everyone that asks receives. It works, but you've got to believe in your heart. Start believing in your prayer. Oh, if you know, why don't you see Brother Terrell pray for me? No, if you just need yourself to pray. Amen. Your prayer is just as real as my prayer is. If they, they one faith, one Lord, one baptism, you get the faith like I've got once delivered to the saints. Your faith will work. You get the baptism that I'm baptized with. It will work for you just like it works for me. You're somebody, you're not just some drifter. He's talking to all of his saints. When Jesus comes, the church is going to be doing the works of Christ. Amen. There was a time, 50, 60 years ago, I knew about three or four hundred preachers that was going all over this country doing the works of Christ. Giving themselves every day, especially when they minister, to, to being by themselves uh, where Jesus is coming, communicate with them. You can't get out here among a party and, and, and Him communicate. You've got to give yourself to Him. Amen. Somebody said, I get lonesome being by myself. I get lonesome to be by myself. <laughs> except I'm a sister Turner. Now my eyes pop down on my nose and I see her. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. Jesus is your God. He's not just somebody that happened up 2,000 years ago. He is God, that great spirit of the universe, made into a man. When God said, let us make man in our image, He was talking about that Jesus was in the beginning. He may not have been a man like we are, but everything in the beginning, just like it is right now, God didn't just uh, up and hatch you out here now. In the beginning, He was here. Before the foundation of the world, y'all, God knew we were going to be right here. Yes, Lord. Amen. God wrote your name in the book of life before your mom and dad ever existed. Amen. Bible said your name was written in the Lamb's book of life before the foundation of the world. Yes. Before God even made this old thing to stand up. Then we put God, that make God little, and we doubt him. We, oh, if I could just get God. The Bible said, if thou can't just believe God, all things are possible. Work on your faith. I said, work on your faith. I said, work on your faith. Your faith works. God honors your faith. God don't look at one of us more than He looks at another. God has no respect of person. You know. Because we are different nationalities, we're not different people inside. In the beginning, God made man and put him in all these different parts of the world. He made their skin according to the climate. You know? Because they didn't have air conditions. You know? That's the reason you go up there and we so cold you can't live. Then people's white as cotton up there. Well, you get me in here, probably freeze to death. <laughs> in the beginning, you didn't see no black people up there. Black people stand out hot weather in Africa when I just about died. You know why they made for that kind of weather? I'm made for a little bit different weather. 
That's why we got all these different colors of sin, but this man inside of us is God. Amen. You're not one kind of being and me another kind of being. He that lives in you, that living soul, is God. And you're real. You're somebody. You're proud to us. You can come up here and stand around this altar. What if I just get Brother Terry? No, God just get you to pray. I challenge you today. I challenge you today in the name of Jesus to put God to the test. Something you've been praying about and been waiting for a long time. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. That's just last meeting. Another brother at a meeting, I don't know who he was, but we was in the meeting, what was we in? Mexico. Me and Brother Williams. And he was rapid dancing on one side, and I was rapid dancing on the other side. People thought we were two rapids. <laughs> Hallelujah! Go and read it, Jesus. Having fun serving God. He is real. He is real. That's what the Bible said. Try God. Your prayer counts. Start believing you're somebody. You gotta believe. Not only God, you gotta believe that you you are God. Don't mean you're some little God, means you belong to God. It's like Sister Terror, she's mine, I'm hers. Well, God said you are mine now. You belong to me. You gave me my heart. You gave me your heart. You 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 offered my your body to me, a living sacrifice. You told me that you wanted me to dwell in you. And I sent the Holy Ghost to come in you. Now you're not your own. When you accepted me, that price I paid on the cross, I bought you. You understand that? Start using your faith. Jesus told Peter to use his faith. Peter said, if that's you, big me. When Peter saw him, Jesus told him, said, why are you down? You had it going. You had it going. Well, why did you down? Peter said, well, I got scared that way. Well, you're not scared no way. Ain't no way you're going to take you down. Ain't nothing going to take you down. Don't let the devil scare you. I heard people say, oh, Peter, he doubted. That makes me so mad to hear Peter down. Peter down. I said, he might have did. Well, me and the guy got in the first right in the church. I said, Peter walked in the water. The guy jumped up and said, yeah, but he sunk. I said, yeah, but he walked. That's what you don't realize. He's walking on the water. He said, what you don't realize, he sunk. Finally, boy, that was the part of I said, he sunk once, but he walked twice. Thank God you may have sunk, but you still can come back up and walk on the water again. Just because he sunk, praise God, he still walked to Jesus. He still walked back to the ship and the, the, the wind was blowing. The happy was out there, but he walked above. He walked twice. You can walk again, but you the one that's going to have to walk. You the one that's going to have to walk. You quit down. And when Peter quit down, he started walking again. Lord, I minister. I impart this kind of faith. God, I command this kind of faith. I impart this kind of faith. God, I preach. I command this kind of faith to fall in the Lord. I, I command now in the name of Jesus Christ. God, this living faith. I impart it unto you. In the name of Jesus, I impart it. God is giving me the, the impartation. I impart unto you living faith, acting faith. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now come up here and stand around this front here and talk to God and tell God what he needs. Come up here and claim your victories. My brother Ross prays for you. Answer. Some of you are going to get answered before the sun goes down. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's begin to knock on God's door. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. But it's a living faith, God. This faith, God, that was once delivered unto the saints, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, God, we're so blessed today. By our ears have heard, have heard, Lord, your word, God. You said, may come in by hearing, hearing by your word, Lord. Oh, Lord, we're blessed today. Jesus calls of the word you sent. You sent your word to stay. Lord, you sent your word to heal us. Oh, Lord, this word, God, oh, is what we need, Father. God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for such a word, Lord. Oh, mighty God, that a supply need, you said, my God shall supply all I need according to your riches in your glory through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Who's the word, God, you ministered this word to stay of living faith, God. This word of living faith, Father. Oh, Lord, I thank you this day. Lord, I receive what you've given us this day. In this hour, Lord, all I need, God, all I need is met because you sent your word to stay. You sent your word, Lord. It's infallible, Lord God. Oh, Lord, it won't fail. I know it won't fail, Jesus. For you're not a man that you lie. Oh, Lord, and I thank you, Jesus. You didn't send us rubies. You didn't send us diamonds. You didn't send us gold, Lord. But you sent your word. Oh, Lord, we got ears, Lord, to hear what you've spoken this day, Lord. Oh, Father, we are most blessed. We are most blessed, God, by all the need. All the need is met, Lord. Every single need, God, is met because of your word you've given us, Lord. Jesus, let this word be seated in us, Lord. Let it be grounded in us. Let it be grounded in our hearts, God. Oh, you said you'll no more write your word on the table of stone, Lord, but you're writing on the table of our hearts. Well, let this word be grafted in our hearts, Lord. Oh, Lord, that we can say what we will. Lord, you said we can say what we will, Lord. And it shall be done. It shall be done unto us, Lord. Oh, what a word, what a word. Oh, what a God, what a God. Oh, mighty God, mighty God. Lord, we are God. We are in your image. We are in your likeness, Father. We can speak, Lord, as you spoke, God. We can speak, Lord, as you spoke, Father. God, Creator. We give us that created power, Lord. That power to create, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, by this living faith. God's faith spoke, Lord. It spoke and it said, let there be light. And there was light. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed. By your word, Lord. Oh, God, you put that same word, that same word in us, God, that we can say what we will, Father. We can say what we will, Lord, and it shall be done. Lord, we speak healing. We speak deliverance. Oh, God, we speak, Lord. Oh, as the oracle, as the word of God, you said by your stripes, we will heal everyone that speaks, Lord, this word. Oh, God, the word will not go out void, but it's going to accomplish whatsoever it's sent for to accomplish, Lord. Glory in Jesus' name. Thank you to say, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth, Lord. We are so blessed. We are so blessed to hear our ears to hear what you've spoken. Oh, Lord, this day. Oh, Lord, help us, Jesus, to take fast hold of it. Let it not go. Oh, Lord, but we got to practice living by the word. God, we got to put it in practice. 
Dan said, any man be a hero only. Yeah, hallelujah. He didn't see his own self. But you got to be a doer. You got to act out. You got to act on this word. Oh, Lord, help us this day. Jesus, in this word, Lord, would abide in us and we abide in this word. God, in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus, for this living faith. This living faith. This living faith, God. This living faith, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Oh, hallelujah. All the needs of that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Brother Vaughn, he'll be there to see.